Hi there, before I continue walking the royal way here in Prague, Czech Republic, I just want to stop and listen to this man playing medieval music. This is Nerudova street in lesser town in Prague and in 1895 it was renamed after the Czech writer and poet Jan Neruda who lived here in the house Udvo Slunsu. You can see it right now. The street leads from the Prague castle down to the lesser town square and it is one of the most interesting streets in Prague. It is part of the formal royal way where the coronation procession of Czech kings crossed the Charles Bridge on the way the castle. The street was created more than 700 years ago when it formed the main axis of the west-east road of the lesser town. The houses in the street, often marked with a house sign, are mostly of medieval origin. They have vaulted gothic cellars and they underwent Renaissance reconstruction after the fire of 1541, almost 500 years ago. Mostly they have floor extensions with painted beamed ceilings and a late baroque or classicist facade. And as I mentioned earlier, in the centuries before us uh, there was no number system for the houses, so each house, almost each house, has a, some kind of a sign that indicated uh, what basically indicated the address and the origins of the sign uh, were mostly associated with the people who built it. Nowadays the houses were converted to small boutique hotels. There are a lot of various shops mostly targeting the tourists obviously and there are also a couple of embassies on this road i think romanian and italian and uh, u.s embassy is actually a little bit to the right of the street a uh, very beautiful building actually it's a compound but i will not have time to go there today this is a cobblestone street so it must be fun to drive in winter when it's raining snow and when it's icy. And now we are at the church of Saint Virgin Mary. As the churches go here in Prague, it's not that old, only about 300 years old, but it's very valuable because of the artwork inside, the magnificent paintings, beautiful, beautiful frescoes have a very significant artistic value not to mention religious value for for the people uh, who believe or who attend catholic church so it's really a nice place to have a look at and let me just go a little bit closer to the altar so we can have a look and we will continue on the street interesting thing about uh Nerudova Street is that from March 1908 to November 1909, the first Prague bus line, and probably the first bus line in the Czech lands, ran on the street. Due to repeated accidents and unreliability of the then technology, it was cancelled. Other bus lines were then introduced in Prague only in 1925 initially mainly outside the center of Prague so that was a fun thing to learn and let's continue down to the square and let's do some small people watching and window shopping another tourist shop marionettes probably sold here that's one of the things that they try to sell you all the time and voila we are at the square Lesser Town Square with the magnificent Church of St. Nicholas. Let's have a look at the building and let's get closer. Since it was laid out in 1257, this square has been the heart of Lesser Town, a district situated at the foot of the Prague Castle where I just came from. The square is dominated by St. Nicholas Church an impressive baroque church that 
occupies the center of the square. In 1673, the Jesuits built a college in the center of the square, 12 houses, a school, and a 13th century church had to make way for the new building, which divides the square in two. Adjacent to the college, the Jesuits built one of the Prague's most impressive buildings, the 18th century St. Nicholas Church, which replaced an older Gothic St. Nicholas Church. Magnificent houses with Renaissance and Baroque features border the square on all sides. During the Middle Ages, when the square was the site of a market for the Prague Castle, the buildings had Gothic designs. A fire that broke out at the square destroyed most of the houses and they were rebuilt in Renaissance and later Baroque style. The later dominates uh, since only a few of the original Renaissance houses kept their uh, original appearance. And here is a couple of historical tidbits. Here at the square in the old town hall in 1575 non-Catholic nobles wrote the so-called Czech Confession, which was a pioneering demand for religious tolerance addressed to the Habsburg Emperor and eventually passed into Czech law in 1609. And another interesting fact is that Czech nobles gathered here in one of the buildings in 1618 for a meeting. And the next day they threw two Habsburg councillors out of a window in Prague Castle. And that set off the Thirty Years' War which ravaged a big part of Europe. So interesting, isn't it? Two guys out of the window and it's a trigger for a war that lasted thirty years. Anyway, I love this square. I love the arcades. You can walk even in the rain and in bad weather around. Nowadays, um, almost most the shops around the square were converted into pubs and restaurants, as you can see. People are enjoying themselves. And I hope you enjoyed this video as well since this will be the end for today. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.